Hey guys, Tampa Tech, and in this video I'm gonna show you what boards commonly go bad in LCD TV. Now, if you're interested in what uh, boards go bad in LED TV, which is similar to LCD TV because they both have LCD liquid crystal displays, but the only difference between the LED TV and LCD TV is the backlight. LED TV uses light emitting diodes to light up the, um, the screen, whereas LCD TV uses fluorescent tubes to light up the screen. So, and oh, the LED TV uses a LED driver board, and the LCD TV uses inverter boards to uh, kick on the backlight. So, right here, I'm going to show you. I'll zoom in. This is a Sony TV, by the way, and I'm going to go through the steps. So, basically, the power. You have your power cord, and your power cord is plugged in right here. Now, once you have that plugged in, the volts go right through here in the power board. And then the power board turns AC to DC, direct current, to turn on the rest of the boards, energize the boards. Now, if you look right here, it looks like it has two power supplies. This is the main power supply that gives your logic, 5 volts logic, to your main video board. This is the main video and audio board. There's audio and video. And this is pretty much the brains. Um, and if you don't have your 5 volts, or sometimes it's 3.3 DC volts, to um, turn on the logic, you know, the brains, then you're not going to actually uh, get, your, your TV set will be completely dead. And you'll get no red LED light on the display, on the front panel. This board right up here looks like it's part of the power supply, but it's actually the power supply, and these two are the main trans primary transformers for the inverter board. So this right here turns on the inverter board, and the inverter board turns on the backlight, and that's where you get your glow or screen. Your screen turns on, and you can see the picture, and it's bright. All right, this right here is a digital tuner. And if you have basic cable, you screw it in, and then you'll get, get your digital cable channels right through here. You, I guess basic cable. So if you don't have basic cable and use a converter box or a cable box, this could be bad and your TV will still work fine. This board right here is one of your logic for your picture. So this is for the video board right here, and this is for the picture. And this is for the picture also as well. So if you get a video distortion, the thing I would look at for video, any kind of lines in the screen is your TCON board, or also known as your controller board. TCON stands for Timing Control Board. So if again, if this is bad, you'll know it because your screen will have lines or you have like you know black bars on your screen and so on. Uh, if this board right here, your main video audio logic board, is bad, the TV may not turn on at all, and you may not have a red blinking light in the front panel. Now, the um, blinking light is important to know uh, on your panel. If you get the standby light and it's blinking, that's actually an error code. So if it blinks, for a Sony TV, that's for example, a Sony TV, if it blinks like 12 times, that could mean that either the LCD panel is bad or the T-Con board is bad. Now there's a little chart that tells you, but you have to look for the chart. It's different on every TV model, so it's not always the same. Just give you a heads up. So if you get a no sound, I would look at the audio board right here, if you got no sound. Because there's an amplifier chip on this board that actually turns on the sound. And you get no video. No video, it could be your video board, but also Sometimes people get confused because if you have audio but no video, it can also be an inverter board because just because um, the simple fact that the backlight, if the backlight is not on, the picture will be extremely, extremely dark to a point where you can barely see anything and it looks like the picture is not there at all even though it is there, you just don't have the backlight to show the image. So use a flashlight and shine it and sometimes you can see that image. That's how you know if the inverter board is bad. So right here, you see the F? If you see that labeled on the board, that means fuse. So basically, you could just read it using your meter. Put it in diode mode, right there. 
and you read across. Make sure you unplug the TV when you do this. And it should read as a short signal, zero, zero, zero. That's it. So that fuse is good, actually. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video to anyone that might be interested in fixing TVs. Later, guys. And check out my other YouTube videos, how to fix TVs, tablets, computers, and so on.